1705FNA, allowing the purchase and use of marijuana by a dove, regulating the purchase and use of marijuana, imposing taxes on the wholesale and retail sale of marijuana. Thank you, Thank you, Madam Chair. Steve, I'm the committee. Thank you for having me today. Uh, a lot of my points have already been made, but I wanted to bring my perspective as a uh, UNH student uh, to this debate. Um, I've seen through my high school career that, uh, as we've heard earlier, marijuana is readily easeable, easy to, uh, to obtain for high school students, uh, way, uh, much more so than alcohol. Um, and because of this, we, uh, we, have, a, we have a legal barrier between uh, this, this, Ill, this legal market for adults and an illegal market, which is sometimes taken over by drug gangs uh, that use their, use their power through young people in school. Um, obviously, our society has no problem with distinguishing different behaviors for adults and children as we do, our state does with alcohol. Um, but what we see in our, our, uh, our schools is that the young people have taken over, in high school, high school or high school age kids have taken over the sale and distribution of marijuana throughout society, bringing it closer to them. So how do we fix this problem? We go after the students and we arrest them, meaning that they have a harder time getting into college, or if they're already in college, they're losing their financial aid, losing their future for pursuing a productive life. Um, this, this policy, uh, is, is keeping our children locked in this cycle of uh, prohibition and crime where it, sh where it, should, have no pro where it should have no place. If we want to protect our, ch we know, if we want to protect our, our, our children in high school and uh, establish our state sovereignty, we need to support this bill and make sure that the marijuana trade is kept out of our high schools and into the regulated market where legal, law-abiding adults, uh, business owners, established uh, members of the community can sell it in a regulated fashion. The reason why uh, marijuana is so more easily accessible for high schoolers than alcohol is because of the storefront and the legal barrier there for a, uh, a legal ID purchase. It makes a, it makes a big difference. So, thank you very much. How would you regulate, say, how many ounces a person would need? They say, well, you can buy an ounce a day. How are they going to regulate if I got 20 friends to go in and buy an ounce apiece and then go back out and sell it to somebody else? Uh, how is that going to be regulated? I, I personally am not the one to ask. I didn't offer the bill, um, but I, I, I don't. I wouldn't see that as a problem because I, I, uh, people who already have the desire to use marijuana today are using it outside of the legal uh, framework. Um, as far as that goes, I mean, people can obtain as much as they want today. No matter uh, you know the state agreements or not, so I think that that's something to ask the bill sponsor. But uh, uh, what you'll you do a follow up? Yeah. Uh, okay. Follow up. Thank you, Madam Chair. Advice. Um, wouldn't you think that that would make it easier for the for the ones that don't want to go by laws to go in and send people in and buy a bunch of it? And you go somewhere else and sell it and make a lot of money. Well, we do have. We, there is. I mean, that that happens with alcohol today. But there are there's provisions in our laws that punish those who supply minors with alcohol. The same would apply here. This. I mean, we're we're talking about a, a market regulated similar similar to alcohol that those over the age who are providing alcohol to minors would be subject to prosecution, which is which is the right way to do it. We want to protect our kids by keeping the illegal market out of our high schools and out of our our young people's hands to distribute and punish those who provide it to them. We're not we're we're avoiding we're avoiding this whole problem by making it all illegal, keeping it under prohibition, making sure that legal law abiding adults cannot distribute this. We're putting it into the hands of our high schoolers and our and our college students who then are introduced to this life of crime so so early and so and are, are, are so readily uh, you know readily accessible to this to this, this life that we don't we don't want in our society. We want our we want our kids to grow up Realizing that the law is as what it is, and, and we will pr we will participate in our in the marketplace legally. This is this is something that establishes from the very beginning of your schooling that working outside the law to make money is okay, and it's a very popular thing, obviously, in our society. That's not going away anytime soon. So I I, I don't think that we're going to fix this problem without taking prohibition away and taking it out of the schools. Thank you. Any other? Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for taking my questions. Would you agree that within UNH that alcohol consumption is, is more highly associated with sexual assaults and violent crime compared to 
six people in a room smoking marijuana. I, I would agree, and I think that if you ask the uh, UNH Police Department, um, the Durham Police Department, and the uh, Health Services Department at UNH, they would tell you the same thing. They would say that more sexual assaults are committed under the use under the influence of alcohol. I don't know this exact uh, numbers, but I know that the Health Services Department at the University of New Hampshire will have those numbers for you, and they they give those out. They 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 make that available to students, showing that alcohol use can be dangerous, especially when you know and it can lead to these these sorts of uh, more violent things. Marijuana. You you ask the police to, the police chief. I I've, I've personally asked the dean you know, of Paul Dean, the police at UNH, he says that he sees way more violence and way more trouble with uh, people under the influence of alcohol than under the influence of marijuana. It's a, it's a fact. It's a physical and medical fact. Representative Thank you very much. I understand UNH has a fairly strict substance abuse policy. Uh, would you have any trouble procuring marijuana on UNH campus? I, I if, if I chose to find it on campus, I could easily find it. I know many people that uh, are you know, have, have, have had the opportunity to find it very easily. Uh, even those under the, uh, you know, even those uh, that, you know, don't seek it out would find it pretty easily just because it's, that's the only way you can find it. It's the only market it's, it's in our schools. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you very much.